How long should you rest in between sets? Well, as a general rule, if your goal is strictly hypertrophy, meaning all you care about is building muscle, then you should always be resting at least three minutes in between every set you do in the gym. Here's why. Real quick, my protein just launched a few new flavors of their Clearway Isolate. Berry Blue is my personal favorite. Highly recommend trying some of them out. Anyway, we all know that in order to build muscle, you have to be training very close to failure, ideally leaving no more than one rep left in the tank on any given exercise. This means that the majority of exercises you do in the gym should leave you pretty fatigued when you're done, even if it's something easy like a bicep curl or a lateral raise. Because if you're actually training with true intensity, no matter what exercise you perform, your body is going to need time to recover before you do your next set. Because what happens when you take a muscle to failure and build up fatigue? That muscle gets weaker. Even if you're not necessarily out of breath, the muscle itself still needs time to dissipate its local fatigue so that you can actually regain some of its strength in order to do another productive set. Unless, of course, you're doing something like a mechanical drop set or a compound set where you're intentionally building up local fatigue, or if you're doing, you know, single side movements where local fatigue isn't as big of a factor, which may only require two or so minutes per side. But for all of your other exercises where the muscle does need time to rest, I recommend anywhere from three to five minutes, sometimes even five to ten on super fatiguing ones like squats, leg press, or deadlifts. But do not be afraid to take some time and recover before your sets. Your muscles will definitely need it and sometimes your sanity as well. Of course, feel free to test out on your own and see how much you actually need. Some people may just recover quicker, but if you constantly feel 100% and ready to go, after just one or two minutes of rest, chances are you're not actually training as hard as you should be.